is you will delete <coughs> delete operations and then you, you said just like you delete the 13 number 110 and it's, it's, it's done so you can do too many tested uh, too many tests the, all of the domain classes so we, we did a lot of things here so for the for the registrations and user role and individual health conditions and and here the load so here as you see the lot of tests or you can even though you can you can build your test uh, with a and generate your test script and send it to the other test department and they can run it uh, depending on the on the environments so our did we did our testing here and then then the, you you export it the test cases to the to the to the to the other other departments like uh, QA department or test department or other developer just you exported this application the test cases and they will run the the test cases and they will change the applications that I said they will change the, this part of the applications and then that's all that's enough for them to, to deploy the application into different environments and then and test run the same test that you have in development environments and and it should automatically go uh, the the test cases so do more tests with that one we have different uh, videos for detail about the postman how can you set up the global variables and and it's i think so just go to uh, my 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 channel and there is a detail uh, overview how can you integrate or how can you uh, set your environmental global environmental variables then you your application you your test cases can run in different environments and with, with different url so here is one of the setups for other projects and this is dev environments is running dev 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 copy and this is productions and the qa rel and then then so on so forth that means that if you plugged it like this way so if i go there they say the the application url is there and this is the one of the examples so you just you call it these variables and you set up your url and use the variables and and you you export this 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 test cases to the other environments so this is the global how can you set up the global global variable for in, in postments and after that you run your test in different environments that's all that's the testing is done so we what we did we 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 we, we get our theoretical background why we put it the microservice applications and we implement uh, we generate our project with the uh, spring io or spring initializer and then and we we answer we, we just zip file we download it and unzipped it and integrate the project into the in the in the, our respective ide and we define our projects we define our modules and we did our implementations and we the most important we set up our 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 environments our properties first and then we we, we wrote it our our environment setup and we run our applications to the externally deployed externally deployable applications <coughs> and that's that's really important and that's that's an that's really important for 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 any any scale of development or any 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 automatic deployment process so so now we did our all things then thank you all if you have any questions leave a comment below i will try to answer and do not forget to subscribe my channel and to get a new upcoming videos just push the bell button and you will get automatically our our new screencast and and our updates from 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 our channels and have a have a good day and thank you see you later bye bye